Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for coming out this afternoon and allowing me to address some issues that have been reported earlier today. Let me begin by saying in no uncertain terms that allegations reported in the media of sexual harassment are false. Sexual harassment is a serious problem in our society. It needs to be treated in a respectful manner I'll come back to this issue in my remarks. I would like to thank those of you who have reached out to me to share your thoughts on what's been reported. I thank you for your wise words and for your continued support, especially from my husband, Rick. Thank you so much. Politics. Politics can be, a t can be tough, but can also be a place where friendships begin and grow. Today, I am reminded of that. I'm listening, and I'm grateful. I was hired to serve as executive director of the Pembina Institute. It was with a mandate to bring significant change and overhaul the organization. It's not uncommon when transitions like this begin there is often reluctance and opposition in some parts of an organization amongst staff. Pemina was no different. Throughout my time in public life, I have been a determined leader. And I am proud of the reputation I have built as a convener and as a collaborator and for being an outside the box thinker. I'm equally proud of my record on delivering on mandates I have been given. In my time at the Pemina Institute, I was ambitious and working hard on goals I thought we all shared as a team. It was also, however, a time of great change in my private life. And it is clear that I allowed that pressure to spill over into my work life. I am sorry for this and I take responsibility. Despite the good work the Institute did and continues to do, it became clear to the leadership team I served and to me that my leadership style and the way I worked was not a good fit with the culture of the organization. Together we came to the realization that parting was the best way forward. And it was clear that for professional but also for personal reasons, I should leave. I remain proud of the work I did at Pembina and I am proud to have earned the endorsement from the chair of Pemina's board who served the Institute for the time I worked there. <laughs> leaving, was, leaving was a humbling experience. I regret allowing my passion to deliver, to deliver on my mandate to have clouded my managerial judgment. Even more, I apologize for any stress or tension I caused with my approach leading Pemina. Leaders aren't perfect, we're human. Good leaders listen. They learn and they focus on improvement, including doing the hard work of being honest with oneself. Reflecting on what I could have done differently has allowed me the opportunity to become a better, more seasoned, and more sensitive leader. It's these skills and these lessons that I hope to bring to City Hall to help tackle the challenges of the city we face. Sexual harassment has no place in the workplace or any other environment. There is no excuse for it, and it needs to be dealt with in an honest and respectful way. As a gay man growing up, and as someone who has worked with people in vulnerable settings, and as someone who has experienced the impact both publicly and privately this issue can have on people, I have always acted with the highest standards and tried to do what's right. Since being approached with questions about my time at Pembina, I have been going over in my mind every interaction, every conversation, and every opportunity where something could have happened. 
I'm not perfect. Who is? But I am certain the reported sexual harassment from today is not true. We had an independent and anonymous reporting system. I met with the board regularly and the organization conducted a detailed review of my time at Pembina. At no point were concerns raised with me or others related to allegations of this nature. My reputation and record of accomplishments speak to my character. Bravo. And hopefully allow the people of Winnipeg to keep an open mind, if not an open heart, as I continue my campaign. <laughs> Events like this unfortunately have become part of political campaigns nowadays. My focus remains on working to be the best candidate for mayor I can be to providing the leadership possible and to making sure that together we make Winnipeg a better, stronger city. That is exactly what this campaign is about. Tomorrow is National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Out of respect, for the significance of this day and for my Indigenous brothers and sisters, I will be taking a quiet day of reflection with my friends and family away from Orange Shirt Day events so as not to cause a distraction. Once again, my sincerest apologies to those at Pembina who were affected by my time there as a manager. You have important work to do and I respect that. My staff will be handing out copies of my statement, but today I won't be taking questions. Thank you very much. Good for today. Thank you for all coming and have a great day. All right then. Oh, okay.